Ah, it's you again. You were only in last week. I literally only saw you here at the clinic last week. Okay, so what's wrong with you this time? You've got a few things wrong with you. Surprise, surprise. Has anyone ever told you you possibly could be a hypochondriac? Oh, don't worry about it, just Google what it means. Okay, so come on then, tell me what's wrong. And being your lovely doctor, I'll try and help you. Headaches, okay. Right, and whereabouts is the pain? Well, I know it's in your head, clearly. Head ache. I mean, is it over one side or is it the front of the head, the back of the head? Okay. How often are you getting these headaches? After drinking wine. Well, maybe you should try not having wine. What have you been taking for the pain? Nothing. Have you not heard of painkillers? It's kind of a clue there in the title. Pain killers. Kill pain. No. Right, well I'll prescribe you some painkillers. Okay. Next problem. Your eyes. Right, okay, so what's wrong with your eyes? A bit blurry vision, yeah? And is that accompanied with the headache or is that separate? Okay. I better check your eyes. Okay, well I've got my torch here. Right, I'm gonna get a bit up close and personal. All right, just have a look in your eyes, okay, with my torch. Okay, can you kind of like open your eyes really wide? Because they're a bit like, how am I supposed to see? Well, I know it's a bright light shining in your eyes, but that's how I'm looking in with the help of a torch. Look, just open your eyes wide like this. There you go. Okay. Right. And look down. Okay. And look up. Just look up, upwards. There we go. Right, well, I can't see anything wrong. Right, how many fingers am I holding up? Correct. And now? Correct. And now? Correct. Well, your eyes seem fine. Next problem? Your ears. Okay, so what's wrong with your ears? Right, so is one ear worse than the other, or? Okay. Let's have a look in your ears. Okay, so. Seems alright. Well, your ears are fine, apart from a bit dirty. When was the last time you had them cleaned? Well, I don't know, I mean, I can give you some ear drops, might help. Not that I can see anything wrong with them, but... Mm. Okay. 
and also try cleaning these, yeah, cleaning them, getting the dirt out. <sighs> People's hygiene these days. Um, all right, next, what else you got wrong with you? Sore throat. Okay. Right, open your mouth wide and stick your tongue out and go, uh, Uh, that's it. Well, it does look a little bit tender, I suppose. I'll give you some throat lozenges. Okay. Right, okay. Well, your breathing sounds right to me from here, but I mean, I, I will check. In what way is it a problem? I mean, you obviously are still breathing. Bit of wheezing. Okay. Right, well, I'll listen to your chest, and then I'll go around and listen to your back, right? Breathe in, hold it in, hold the breath in, like breathe in and hold. And then when I say let go, let go of the breath and breathe out, okay? Like, it's not that hard. Okay. So breathe in, hold, breathe out. That sounds right. Breathe in, that's it. Hold, hold the breath in, just hold it in like. And right, breathe out. Okay, I'm gonna go and listen to your back. Breathe in, hold, breathe out. Breathe in, hold, breathe out. Well, I think your breathing sounds fine. I could give you uh, I don't know, some cough medicine maybe, might help. Okay, anything else wrong with you? Your hand and your wrist. <laughs> I'm not going to ask what you've been doing. <laughs> Alright, okay. Yeah, repetitive strain injury can kind of cause pain well um just well what one is it left or right hand and rest that okay well let me just hold it out and i'll have a look right try and move your fingers like this mm, feels a bit stiff okay and move your wrist kind of round like this I don't think there's anything majorly wrong, but there's a little bit like stiffness. I don't know what you've been doing, as I say, typing a lot. Okay, that's what they all say. Um, I can give you these. These will help you out. So this is the uh, wrist support. Okay, I just kind of help with the pain. Right, so you just put your hand in. 
Okay, and then literally just use the little Velcro straps to put it on. So you want it quite tight. No point in having it loose because it won't really give it any support. They are very good though. Well, I mean, you can wear it in the day if you want to look like a loser. I could just wear it at night when I'm sure no one sees you. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, they are good. Alright, so I'll give you one of these. And a ball. No, it's not just any ball, it's a stress ball. But it also helps with like the movement again in your hand and your wrist. So literally take the ball, put it in your hand, and squeeze. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. I do like squeezing balls. <laughs> Sorry, I just I make myself laugh. <laughs> So yeah, that will really help with the wrist and also the hand, okay? And if you're stressed, having a bad day, squeeze the ball. There you go. Right, so what else is wrong with you? Your feet. And what's wrong with your feet? I mean, you've literally gone from head to toe with problems, so they smell. <laughs> okay. Um, and what do they smell of? I mean, are we talking just a normal kind of cheesy smell or? Right. I get the best jobs, don't I? Okay, well, I'll just take your shoes and socks off and I'll, um, I'll have a look at your feet. You don't wear socks. What, you, you never wear socks or just today? You never wear socks. Well, that's probably the cause of the uh, the whiff, the odour. But we'll have a look. You noticed any like lumps and bumps on the feet or anything like bunions or? Okay, right. I'm just gonna uh, go down and have a look. <sighs> oh. <coughs> Oh, okay. I can't see any um, can't see any lumps on them or anything or bunions. Oof. Oh, oh. <coughs> I'm sorry. I've seen a lot of things in my time as a doctor, but your feet are probably the most. Disgusting, disturbing feet I've ever seen. Um, so I don't know what to recommend. I mean, I mean, there's nothing physically wrong with them. They just need a good wash. I mean, do you ever clean in between the toes? No. I would definitely recommend that. I mean, oh, I don't think I'll be able to get that smell out of my memory. Um, look, try washing them. Mm. and try, well, no, definitely wear socks. <sighs> I mean, do you wash your trainers at all? No? Definitely put them in the washing machine, or maybe get some new shoes. <sighs> right, okay, well, if you want to just pop your shoes back on, quickly. Okay, you done? Good. Now I'm just gonna um just gonna go and get something. <clears throat> oh. Oh. <sighs> Sorry but I I couldn't bear that smell anymore. Don't want it smelling out my office. 
I knew I had my perfume in my bag. There you go, it's better. Right. Okay, well, I'll give you your prescription. Just take it to uh, our pharmacy. Okay, there you go. And, um, yeah, hopefully won't see you for a while. I would say no offence, but I do kind of mean it. So, um, yeah, wish you better. Wash your feet. Poor little coconut, are you feeling bad today? Mm, let's do it. Oh, hello, hello, hello. I'm sorry, I just... <laughs> How awfully nice to see you. Have you been up to the doctor's office? You have? Oh, well, yes, she's a little bit peculiar, but she's so nice, I just love her. Did you get the prescription? You did, you did. Can I see it? Thank you. Everything on in stock. Um, 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 what's that? Did you get a ball from this nice doctor? Yeah, it's a stress ball. I know she used to squeeze my balls all the time. I mean, my stress balls. Never mind. Okay. Well, I hope I hope your visit was nice. Everything needs to be nice. The nicer the better. You know, if people were nicer to each other all the time, there wouldn't be so much sadness in the world. Okay, I, I will continue. So, you have a headache. Oh, I feel so sorry for you. Oh, I hate headaches. They are so bad. Okay, headache. I'm just going to check my Oh, there we go, there we go. Oh, I, I hurt my finger. Yes, there was a nice lady crossing the street and she was almost hit by a truck, so I ran out, threw myself through the window just to save her. Yes, and then I hurt my finger. Well, at least she is okay. Mm -hmm. So, this is headache pills, and you can take... Uh, you can take two at a time, but I don't think any more than two will make any difference. So just take two of them, okay? And it should help very, very good. Okay, I will put this in a bag later. Let's see here. Painkillers. Oh, are you in pain? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you're in pain. I'm. I'm almost starting to cry because I feel it's so sad. You know, wouldn't it be nice if there were no pain in the world? Never mind. I have painkillers here. And these are one grams. And I would recommend that you take them an hour before you feel pain. I mean, take them when you feel pain. And I give you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pills. That should be enough. Yes, that should be plenty. <gasps> I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm going to start crying. I forgot my gloves. Oh, I don't have any bacteria on me, I swear. I swear, I swear, I swear. But, 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 but. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. How could I, how could I? I hope my finger fits into this. No, 
No, no, no, no, no, no. Don't cough, don't cough. Do you feel ill? You think that my bacteria might have given you some infection? Wait, wait, wait. Wait. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Please, wash your hands with this. Oh, good, good. I'm so terribly sorry. I, I always wear my gloves. I wouldn't cause any, any, anyone to feel sad or anything. Okay. How could I? I'm so sorry. Ear drops. Okay, you had problems with your ears. I see. I see. I see. I see. Well, I have ear drops here. And it says that you should, should put it in your ears, of course. <laughs> Where else would you put it? Um, and uh, then you, you must shake your head. You know, shake it very, very hard. Uh, uh, if it helps, uh, sit on a washing machine while it centrifuges, you know. That, that, that should do the trick. Okay. So, this is the air drops, and yes, it should make you happy, it should make you happy. I would never give someone, someone something that should make them sad. Okay, here we go. Now, let's continue. Something for your throat, I see. Well, first of all, first of all, I will give you these. These are throat pills. Uh, no, th these aren't prescribed. This is this is just because I don't want you to feel sad. So please have these, have these. I will take one myself. for six days and then your throat will be as good as new I promise so I will put this with the other things <sighs> okay cough medicine I want you to be happy, to, to feel good. Yes, I, I always want people to feel good. One could almost say that I'm overly attached to making people feel good and nice about themselves. Okay. Cough, 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 cough. Here we have the cough medicine. Take it very easy with this one because it contains morphine. Or don't take it easy, it depends on how happy you want to be. If you take more, the happier you will become. But don't take too much. I will shake it for you so it's good and fine and tasty. You should take a spoon, and if you think it's bad, take 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 some take some sugar, because a spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down. Yes. 
All right. Um, what do we have on your hand there? Oh, oh, that's that's okay. I see. I understand perfectly. Yes, that was nice of the of the of the doctor to do. I think. Yes. All right. Oh, you have a blemish on your forehead. No, 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 I don't think it's cancer. I don't think it's cancer. I promise, I don't think it's cancer. No, 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 don't get a panic attack. Don't get a panic attack. attack, attack. Here, here. These are for panic attacks. Oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Uh, you are no, by, you are, you are not suffering from hypochondria, are you? No, 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 of course not, of course not. I, I just wondering, I just wondering. Yes, 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 I just wondering. Are you okay standing up? Are you okay standing up? You, you look a bit tired. No, 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 I don't think you're having a stroke. No, 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 no problem, no problem. Here, take these, these are for stroke. Okay, I won't say another word. I won't say another word. Well, I think that was everything on the list. You had health pills, painkillers, eardrops, cough medicine, and headaches. And um, yes, I think that was everything. Is those uh, throat pills working for you? You feel a numbness in your throat. All right. No, 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 no. Take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. You, you can breathe, you can breathe. Just breathe with me. <gasps> good, 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 good. Take another panic. Here, here. Oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I, uh, I'm so sorry, I didn't know you were a hypochondriac. I, I mean, I didn't know that you, that you... All right, all right. Well, I think that was everything. And uh, you can pay the cashier by the, by the door when you, when you leave. So, uh, I hope that you get well soon and that you have a lovely, lovely, restful day full of happiness, 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 joy, 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 and, and smiles, because, you know, smiles are so important for us all. Goodbye.